All right, this video is going to be covering how to use Google Sheets to, to make a line graph or bar graphs or any type of graphs whatsoever. And the reason we're focusing on this and doing this is because we're going to take our Wisconsin fast flat data and we are going to put it into um, some data tables and create charts using Google Sheets. I think it's a valuable way of you know learning first off how to use Google Sheets and secondly just being able to graph and stuff because I mean computers are the way we do graphing now. So go ahead and just watch along and I'm going to show you how to do this and then I'm going to give you a template and I want you to use this practice template to recreate what I've done, you know, just to get used to it. And then when we have the actual assignment, the, the where you're going to be graphing all your information this next coming day, um, I'll give you, I'll push that one out for you so you can actually use that one as your final assignment. But I'm going to give you a, a practice one to work on with this. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So it's real simple. I'm going to give you a, a data table already loaded up. On the sheets table, so you're gonna, all you have to put in here is the data. Now, if you wanted to make this, it'd be very simple. All you'd have to do is really, literally, type in this information, these boxes, and then you can create it automatically. Let me just kind of show you the magic fast way of doing this. I already have some um, numbers down here, so I'm just gonna copy and paste them and drop them in here. And again, you can totally type these in like single ones, just getting letters, so don't get confused by this. And then I'm going to highlight E1, E2, C1, and C2, and then come back down all the way to encompass all my data and then the top names of each column. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit this insert chart. Now watch how easy this is. That's it. I've got, I've got my bar graph of the, the information as it goes. And you can see right here, it's showing me color coding my, my E1 experiment 1, experiment 2, and then my controls 1 and controls 2. So that, um, what, uh, so all I need you to do next is go ahead and change the chart style. So let's say now you want to have um, a line graph, which I'm actually more interested in line graphs and bar graphs. All you have to do is here is you come here and just type in that, and you click on a line graph, and it changes your graphing points out. So you can see the difference between them. And, I mean, that's all that's going on here is we're just going to change the graphs out so you can see stuff. And you can see different types of, of what's going on here. And, I mean, it, it's it's pretty simple. It's, it's not too hard. Um, the one thing you want to make sure, though, is when you when you get this editor thing up, that editor doesn't come up. You want to right-click, and then you can just do, like, um, chart style. But if it says customize here, just hit it to data, and then you can find your different your different types of graphs and stuff that you can change the style of how the data is put is, is visually represented. So once again, if you don't have this thing pop up automatically when you hit this button to graph, all you have to do is hit the right click button on your mouse, go to chart style, and if it's in customize, you just have to click on data, and then you can change it over to the different types of charts. And you can play with all this stuff in here. There's lots of stuff you can kind of familiarize yourself with. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is that when you when we do our charting, we're going to have a bunch of different things. We're going to have height, we're going to have leaves, we're going to have um, number of seeds and pods and all that stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on these bottom tabs here. You see where my mouse is located? I'm kind of twirling around. This is on height. If you click here, it gets to a new one and leaves. And there's going to be several different ones in the bottom here. If you ever want to add them, if you want to create one, all you have to do is hit the Add Sheet and then see how it adds the extra ones down there. But it's... Just be aware that there's, you know, you might have one document, but there's going to be tabs at the bottom here. And these tabs are going to give you access to, to different little sheet areas where you can put the information in and graph it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, please fire away, ask me, or, you know, go ahead and in Google Classroom, you can hit that kind of that little blog area where we're posting questions, and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in class. Take care.